This is not the Mezco 112 Collective Miles Morales Ultimate Spider-Man. <laughs> What's up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raphulus, and welcome to another This Is Not. If you were thinking that this figure right here is the real deal, no, it is not. This is a fake, this is a clone, this is a China clone, this is a knockoff, this is a KO, this is a bootleg. This is something that you get on AliExpress for $25 because you don't want to spend, what is it, $150 on the real one? <laughs> this is a fake, this is a clone of no other than Miles Morales, Spider-Man from Mezco. Um, I believe this was once in a time, once in a long time ago, was an exclusive, and now he's pretty much hard to get for a good price. But the clone exists, we're gonna open it up. We're gonna see if it is worth the $25 that I spent on this. I got it on AliExpress. If you're gonna ask for the link, <laughs> I, I honestly don't have it anymore. I don't know. This has been a long time since I bought this, by the way. I don't know if I even have that link anymore. I'm sorry. Just look up Mezco, Miles Morales, and I'm pretty sure he's going to pop up. So, if you're looking for real deal action figures, come on, you know where to go. You can go to www.dstartoys.com and this for awesome action figures. Anyway, let's open up this fake and let's see if it's any good. Now, I used to own the real one. I sold it, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I just had to. I needed the money. What can I say? But you know what? This fake is here, and he might actually be a good replacement. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, oh man. Uh, I'm just gonna, I gotta, I, I can't, I just can't. He, he looks like he's wearing pajamas with really thick underoos or diapers. Uh, I mean, just look at that. <laughs> This is not very good. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look good. I, I, I just got to tell you why. It looks like, yeah, it looks like he's wearing pajamas. Uh, this is not skin tight. This is not a good design. The real one looked much better, let me just tell you. Uh, and, and what's up with this footsie, footsie pajamas right here? Uh, yikes. I, I can't get over the fact that he looks like he's wearing a Diaper! <laughs> what is going on here? Uh, and it looks like they don't even use the right body type. I don't see any musculature going through the nylon suit right here. The paint on the um, soft goods uh, could be better. It looks a little faded. It's not awful, actually. It actually looks pretty decent. But, yeah, I don't know. This does not look good to me. <laughs> it just doesn't and like I said the the diaper is just very distracting I, I, I can't like this I'm sorry guys it just doesn't look good oh my gosh uh, we still have one more Mezco to look at too oh man I, I don't know what, what it is about the Mezco bootlegs they just can't seem to get it right <laughs> anyway that's my take on it I, I think when it comes to the detail it just looks so weird <laughs> i guess for 20 bucks he's not awful right i mean you get what you pay for he doesn't look quite right but he's a 20 dollar figure oh gosh i can't i just can't anymore come on dex get yourself together let's go into articulation and scale he's wearing a diaper <laughs> all right let's take this again all right, mm, let me get myself together here. Mm. Ah, all right. Uh, he stands at around six and a quarter inches tall. And if you're wondering how he is with other Spider-Man figures, here's the real deal: Mafex Spider-Man, Peter B. Parker, or in this case, the uh, not Peter B. Parker, uh, Mafex Spider-Man. And of course, we have. An actual Miles Morales from Into the Spider-Verse from Sentinel. Sorry, these aren't Mafex. These are Sentinels. My bad. Uh, Sentinel Miles Morales and Sentinel Peter B. Parker. And, of course, we have a SH Figure Arts Spider-Man from No Way Home. So his scale is bigger. 
And more importantly, does he scale with Marvel Legends? I, I guess he does. So there you have it right there. I think he he really does scale with Marvel Legends, but man, this footsie pajamas. Gotta get over that. Jeez, it just looks so bad. Anyway, we, had, we don't have an up and down here at the toe, but that's fine. We do have an ankle swivel. We do have a double jointed knee. Can he front kick? Not so much. Because your diapers are too big, my friend. And we can sidekick right there. And we do have an ab crunch, which is very not good. But he does swivel some, some from side to side on that waist right there. So as you can see right here, because you have big baggy pajamas, you can actually um, get a really nice twist on there. So that's not awful. I got to give credit where credit is due. It actually articulates pretty decently. Um, do we have butterfly joints? I don't think so. Hold on, let me feel for it. No, we do not, but we do have bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow? No, that is a single jointed elbow. Yep, that is indeed a single jointed elbow right there. We have ball and peg right there at the wrist, and we have two articulation points right here at the neck, looking to be well above 20 points of articulation. Uh, the fact that he doesn't quite, um, what do you call it, ab crunch, and his diaper gets in the way. It just looks weird when he does a sidekick. We're going to try to at least get a superhero landing pose here. <laughs> no, that 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 is the most unarticulated Spider-Man figure I have ever owned. Yikes. <laughs> Let's look at the accessories. Uh, uh, there has to be something we could salvage from this figure. Uh, we do get some webs right here. Um, we do get a shooting web. A bunch of shooting web right here. Four extra hands. And we do get the um, Mesco um, stand, which is pretty cool. If anything, we could salvage that because the Mesco stands are actually pretty good. Because they're kind of long and and uh, can get some really good distance when you have them like in a jumping pose. As you can see, this arm is really long, so it's pretty cool. And if it's anything like a missile, yep, you just pop that guy out. And then we put this guy in. And it looks like we have something else there. Hold up, let me see. What is that? It is another wrapped in bubble wrap arm. Uh, actually, this is the magnetic arm. So what you can do with this, if you guys remember my old review of this figure, this actually can go on metal. Let's see how strong it is. Hold on one second. Let's see, we need something more me metallic. Okay, here we go. Okay, not bad. Uh, if you can hear it, I am putting it on my mic arm. It is sticking pretty well. So that's pretty cool. So this is quite magnetic. If you're looking to, re if you lost this on your original, this is a good replacement right here. So I have to, you know, like I said before, give credit where credit is due. Uh, uh, I guess we should do a quick hand swap. For sure, why not? And let's see if we're gonna have any issues there. And let's let's see if we can do like a like a quick web shot right here. Uh, hopefully we can. Yeah, actually that does seem to fit. And no, that that does not work. Um, yeah, that that's not gonna work because the 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 hand peg is too short, and we can't get the hand peg and the web in at the same time. Unfortunately, hmm. And plus, yeah, that's a really tight fit too. Let's see what we're what else we can do here. An assortment of hands, web shooter hands, and open hands. So no fist hand to hold a web. Kind of was hoping we can get a web swinging type thing here. Also, if I if I get the package, hold on one second. The wire web, which again you really can't do much with it because you don't have something to hold said wire, unfortunately. So the webs, in my opinion, are kind of useless because they don't fit his. Um, his peg. So, yeah, let's let's come up with pajama Spider-Man. <laughs> Is this worth the twenty-five bucks? Yeah, so you can laugh at it, sure. And uh, yeah, I, I laughed at it. It's worth my twenty-five bucks. Uh, 
I, I'm laughing at it. it didn't break. Uh, let, let's look at the positives. It didn't break. It didn't fall apart. It actually stayed together. Um, can he pose well? No. There is a major issue with his midsection. Again, like here, you can't ab crunch, so you can't get the superhero landing pose. You can't do side kicks or front kicks very well because you have an extra large diaper for when you go it in the middle of the night, I guess. So, yeah, would I get this? Um, if I was you, would I advise you to get this if you want this figure the real deal, but you don't want to spend like 200 some bucks? No, what, what are you thinking? No, this thing is awful. <laughs> you know what, everyone in the comments are just gonna say, no, it's worth it. They're gonna find some way to find out it's worth it. But you know what? No, I, I don't I don't like this. This is not gonna, I sh honestly, I really should've just kept the original. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So you're always in the know when I post new videos. And if you're looking for real action figures like this one, bam, bam. Like this guy right here, or actually, no, this guy's an exclusive. More or less, this guy right here, you can go to www.dstartoes.com. We love this for awesome action figures. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. And don't forget to wear your pajamas before you go to bed. Keep you nice and warm during those winter months. Peace out. subscribe where right here not there right here you and thanks for watching so rate comment and subscribe right here right there right here yeah